Hello, LPU faculty. Daniel Ruarte here, Vice President of Academic Affairs at Life Pacific University, just sending you a monthly uh, message from the Office of Academic Affairs. Uh, and just as you know, we're, we're ready um, for the fall, and I have uh, some news about that and how we're going to um, move forward. And I know some of you already received some announcements, some emails. Uh, about that and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on some specifics on this video about that and this newsletter. So, But I wanted to start just showing you a little bit of um, what I think is going on and see I've been looking through these books uh, to see how colleges work and uh, or how a uh, the leadership role of a chief academic officer and let me tell you I couldn't find anything about COVID-19 or anything about uh, um, pandemic um, situation. So we are in our uncertain times. We are in a in a season of uh, courage, as President Angie has shared a few times. And um, things are changing rapidly. Uh, from sometimes from week to week, from um, uh, days to day. So uh, it is a, a different time in higher education and. I really appreciate um, your willingness to be flexible, to uh, understand what we're going through. And let me tell you, we, we are praying for you. We are praying that, that you will feel the peace of God as we move forward um, this fall. And that even in the midst of everything that's going on and the chaos and the uncertainty and the changes, that you just be overfilled with, with the peace of God in your heart that we will go through this. That we this this will pass, and um, and that we just gotta keep moving forward. So I, I, I my message for you: just keep moving forward. Uh, don't give up. Uh, and and just uh, I want to thank you on behalf of LPU and President Angie. Uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, your flexibility, for your understanding, and for your um, commitment to uh, fulfill. Um, the mission that God has given you as, a, as an educator and the mission that God has given us as a school, uh, a biblical university. So uh, I just want to go over some of the uh, announcements that we have, some of the major uh, things that we are celebrating. But first, I want to tell you that we're preparing an um, amazing month of training for you. One of the things that I'm committed to is professional development, growth and and that we would be able to invest in you i really believe that if we invest in you our classrooms are going to benefit our students are going to benefit so we're making an investment and uh this month of august we're going to have some uh, special training some special professional development for you and i'm so excited to share with you that um, we're going to have some special guests uh and some topics and there's there's a flyer in the newsletter there's there's some more information uh, but we are going to have four different uh, training workshops uh, and what I'm calling what we're calling the faculty series session so so we're excited about this um, month of training and development and uh, just know that we are making an investment that we really don't have to do this that we could just start the month uh, of uh, end of August or September with the classes straight to the classes, uh, but as a as an institution and uh, me as a representative of of the academic office, uh, we're just making a commitment to invest in you. So these are all for you. I hope you take uh, note of the date and times, and I would love to see you there and uh, be able to. Um, participate and, and take advantage of this opportunity. So so that's one of the main things that I wanted to celebrate. The other thing is uh, we've been going through this month of July, always have our uh, graduate and MA uh, residencies. We had over 60 students uh, um, virtually this time. Usually we have them on campus for a week. Uh, this time we had them virtually through Zoom, uh, but it was just amazing to jump in different Zoom meetings and greet our students and what an amazing job that our uh, directors are doing and I wanna I wanna thank Dr. Remy Lawson 
uh, director of our MASL program, um, Dr. Eric Lopez, director of our MAX program, and Professor Daniel Prieto, director of our uh, MA in Leadership Spanish um, Language. So thank you for, for leading this, organizing, and working with your teams to be able to offer the, the highest quality experience to our graduate students. So thank you. Um, it's amazing to see what the Lord is doing and how we're growing it with our online programs. Uh, and uh, we are offering for the first time ever uh, our online AA program. So this fall, in just a few weeks, we are uh, launching the first uh, online AA cohort. And our church partnership program is starting in, in working in partnership with the online AA and the and local churches and ministries. So this is just uh, an amazing, an amazing year, uh, even in the midst of everything that is going on. So, so we need to celebrate, even in the midst of uh, disruption and crisis, we need to learn how to celebrate the goodness of God in our lives and, and just be, be able to, to, to celebrate what he's doing, right? Another thing to celebrate that I really want to point out today is uh, our WAM um, team. Uh, they developed a worship video, and it was just amazing. Got thousands of views online on social media, uh, a lot of uh, interaction. And it was just amazing to see how we are um, moving forward and developing leaders through our programs. This is part of our one, our worship arts and media uh, program that we have here on campus. And, and I want to thank uh, Dr. Stephen Phillips Yeager, who has been leading the program for the last two years and has been doing such an amazing job uh, with the students, uh, bringing uh, a vision for, 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 for development and, and, and songwriting and, and production and art and, it's just, it's just amazing, and so we're celebrating that um, accomplishment by our by, by one of our programs and by some of our students in that program. So it's it's just great to celebrate. So now let's let's move to some of the news about how it will look like in the fall. And for faculty, we we had a, a full time and part time faculty meeting, and we we enter and engage in a conversation about. Uh, doing synchronous or asynchronous teaching um, and, and learning for the fall. And we decided as, as a team to move forward with a synchronous uh, teaching model. So what, what that means is that what we are asking you faculty to do is for this fall, uh, some of the feedback from our students uh, from the spring is was that um, there was a lack of consistency between the classes, and some professors were doing one thing, some other professors were doing other things. So we want to bring uh, a, 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 a more uh, organized and standardized experience for our students. Um, so more, more, um, be it for for them to be able to have some consistency in the midst of of so much inconsistency and so much uncertainty. So. So some uh, this and this mainly applies to our uh, traditional undergraduate faculty. So if, if you're watching this and you're a, a tug um, faculty, this is very key for you this next fall. So so what's going to happen in the fall is that we have decided to go on a synchronous uh, teaching model. So what that means again is that uh, we are going to provide um, Zoom accounts uh, for this next few months for you and some training on how to use the breakout groups and how to use the polling features and uh, how to use different tools in, in Zoom so you can be creative with your class. And the idea is that most of our students have registered for, for a certain time with you face to face. So the idea is to keep those schedules, to keep the same schedules the students sign up for the same schedules you sign up for when you sign your contract and, and, and you commit it to teach during, for example, Tuesday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday from, from 8 a.m. to 9.15. Uh, so kind of like to try to keep that consistency and be able to jump in in a synchronous way 
and connect with your students um, live through um, through virtual classrooms. So we do want you to get some uh, training on on online um, interactions, and we do want to have. Uh, man maintain some consistency and require all of, all of our students to show up in class and participate and um, have regular conversations, have interactions. You, you'll be able to uh, do your uh, PowerPoint presentations, your, your lectures. You'll be able to ask questions and have breakout groups. So, so to have a more... Um, robust experience uh, for our younger demographic students that have signed up for our on-campus traditional program. So, so we're, we are, um, we're moving into that direction. We are going to have an appeal process for our students uh, in case some of them for uh, certain reasons, uh, let it be uh, technological reasons or um, a certain situation in the household that they, they need to maybe work certain hours now that they're going back or, or something like that. We're going to have an appeal process for some of those students. Uh, and if we approve that, then um, we'll just notify you and let you know which students might not be able to show up on a weekly basis to your live uh, classroom. So you will have to work with those students and uh, kind of provide the recording and, and have them do some extra um, participation and maybe reflection or or something so that way they can um, they can get um, credit for 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 participation in the class. Otherwise, uh, the participation credit would be um, as they show up every week for the Zoom meetings. Um, then that would count as the, as them participating in the class. So that that is the major news I have for you today, and I know. For some of you, that would be um, a little disruptive. Maybe that wasn't what you were expecting. Uh, but I just want to encourage you to just um, just focus on, on on what God is doing and and just let's let's focus on on moving past uh, this uh, season. It's a very challenging season for everyone, um, and just let's focus on investing in our students. I really want you to just pray for them to just. Um, be that mentor that they need. You know, there's a lot of research that talks about faculty mentoring students. And I think I think at this time, when they are in, in, when our students, when our young students are facing a crisis, they need role models. They need, they need leaders like you to show them the way out of uh, a crisis, out of a difficult situation. And uh, I, 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 I'm praying and hoping that you could be those role models, that you could be those mentors, that you could be those who, who will provide that support that the students need. So I want to just make you aware that we still have our library services. Um, we're working to provide resources for our students so they can do, do their research and do whatever they need to do uh, and have access to our um, library, so to some of our library resources that we have. Um, we also uh, have the Academic Research Center, and it's going to be working at a, um, in, a, in a distance and virtual way, but you, that's something that we can also offer, and, and it's a resource for you and for your students. Uh, we are um, also having um, a Moodle. Part of your job is going to be using Moodle, as we always do, to, to receive all the homework from your students, to... Um, to do all the interaction in, in between the class and the students uh, could be done through Moodle too. So you're going to have a Moodle shell for your class too. Uh, so that way the students can log in and, and turn in all the homework, the, 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 the final papers, the midterm papers. Uh, you can do quizzes there. Uh, and if you need any support with that, we have a Moodle support specialist. Um, and I, I would... Um, just let you know, uh, we are here to help you. We're here to support you. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, just reach out to us, academics at lifepacific.edu. Academics at lifepacific.edu. So thank you very much. I appreciate your work. Um, and I, I'll be praying and communicating with you this month and this semester. Uh, and let's uh, continue to move forward. So thank you very much. 
and God bless.